Welcome to my vector illustration tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to show you how to create and finalize your line art and apply textures using the Grain and Glowing Neon and Noise and Spray Brushes Pack. We'll go through various techniques and special touches that will take your illustrations to the next level. So grab your mouse or tablet, open up Illustrator, and let's dive into this creative process together. Let's get started. First, open the brush file you received. Press the shortcut key S to select the Scale tool, then double-click on the icon to open its options. Make sure the Scale Strokes and Effects option is enabled, and then click OK. Select the line art brushes you like the most and copy them. Return to your project and paste them. Adjusting the size of the brushes to fit the outline of your sketch. Select the brush tool, click, drag and release to create your stroke. In the width profile option, you can change the line's appearance, making it thinner at the ends to give the sensation of brush pressure. You can select all the lines and configure them more quickly by selecting a single variation for them. Besides the brush tool, you can use the pen tool, clicking point by point in a more detailed manner. You can adjust each anchor point and the direction handles to achieve more perfect curves. You can use the eyedropper tool to capture the brush style previously created. Get used to shortcuts like Ctrl plus Z for undo, Z for zoom, and spacebar pan tool for navigation as they are always present in the process. While drawing, make overlaps at the points where the strokes meet. This helps to avoid empty spaces and gaps in the outline, ensuring that your line art is completely closed and ready to receive color and texture. Outlining the subject is often the first step in any drawing or painting, with lines being the sub-elements that create the complete elements. So at this moment, make it patiently, calmly, and enjoy the process. Remember to take this process as a foundation, but feel free to find and integrate your own fluid style. You can alternate between the pen and brush tools, refine your strokes, reposition anchor points, and adjust direction handles. The flexibility of these tools allows you to experiment and perfect your lines, making your artwork uniquely yours. To color, let's create a new layer, and you can use the blob brush tool. Double click it and select a small enough size to fit the small curves and folds of the illustration. Click OK and start tracing each element. Remember that the blob brush tool will merge the created strokes, so you should draw each stroke starting where the last one ended, as we need closed shapes here. First, I'm starting with the head. It's a process that takes a few minutes, but it's fun. The idea is to close the shape by ending the last stroke where you started the first one. Once they are merged, select the Direct Selection tool with the shortcut key A. Select a single point within the shape we created with the blob brush and press Delete twice. Illustrator will delete all the points within that shape. The idea is to do this for all the elements in the scene, repeating the process to create a single shape for the elements. First, I did the head, then the body, eyes, nose, and ear hole. To add textures, Go back to the brush file you downloaded and copy some styles you like. Remember that the brushes are organized in an orderly manner from the lightest to the densest. After copying, return to our project file and paste the brushes. Adjust them to fit an ideal size for coloring your illustration. Let's create a new layer and name it so that we understand it is the texture layer, right below the line art layer. I'm using the same black color as the line art for the hard shadow. Then, we need to apply the texturing process. I'll select the brush tool, choose the half spray brush, click, drag, and release to create the stroke. Sometimes half of the spray might go outside or stay within the line art, but that's okay because you can use the direct selection tool or the general selection tool to move specific objects and adjust the curvature for a perfect fit within the line art. 
Depending on where you start and end, the spray fade will be up or down, so you can correct it by selecting the two brushes that vary both up and down. After texturing, choose a primary color for the elements in the color layer to give it a bit more life. I'll select magenta as usual. Create another layer to be the light texture above the color layer. Repeat the texturing process with a lighter color. After filling the lights at the edges of the shapes, let's create a shadow variation. Create a new layer to be an intermediate color between the light and primary color. In my case, I'll choose purple. Select the texture brush between medium and the densest and paint the shapes closest to the hard shadows. For these full scatter spray brushes, you can simply click to create a single scatter point or click, drag, and release to automatically create multiple scatter points along the path. Keep clicking and creating scatter points in a way that they overlap the background color, giving the effect of shading. Do this for all the elements in the scene. To change the color of the texture or the base color already created, we can work with layer separation. For example, I will change the tone of this magenta. Select all the magenta elements on the base color layer, click on the Add New Swatch icon. Make sure the global option is checked so that you can edit this color later and all the elements will update automatically. Then, adjust the sliders to achieve the desired tone. The same can be done with the texture colors. Select the texture with the stroke color you want to change. Go to the icon in the upper right corner, select the Select Same Stroke Color option, change the color or create a new one, and adjust to the desired tone. You can add another layer of texture with an intermediate tone, above the first intermediate tone. In my case, I added this light pink. This way we have a gradient from blue for light, light purple for the base color, light pink, dark purple, and black. To make it easier, I'll leave the color codes here on the screen. We can also change the color of the outline along with the half spray textures simultaneously. Since we use the same color for both, which is black, we'll apply the same process as before. Select the outlines with the same color, create a new global color, and assign a tone that matches the current palette. We can also create common shapes like circles, squares, and triangles and apply the grain outline. Now, for the finishing touch, let's use the glow and neon brush collection. Add sparks in a background layer, randomly or in strategic spots you think will enhance the piece. Single points, sparse points, medium and dense points. The most precise variety of brushes you need. Add authentic and varied stars for an extra touch of magic. Use your creativity and repeat parts of the process, incorporating new techniques to enhance the light effects even further. For example, I created these two intersecting outlines, forming an X using the fluid fickle brushes from this pack. I then went to Effect, Stylize, selected Outer Glow, chose a white color, set the opacity to 75%, and adjusted the blur to my preference. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create and finish your line art with various techniques and special touches. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to get updates on new tutorials. Leave a comment below with your questions or suggestions. I'd love to hear what you think and see your creations using these techniques. 
Be sure to check out the other videos on the channel for more tips and tricks on illustration. And don't forget to visit our store to get the complete brush collection we use today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.